Welcome back to Shannington and the Stephen Sheep Metal Super 1 British Karting Championships. The first race of the championship season about to get underway. And I'm joined by, potentially, should be really the favourite for this uh, championship this season. Not least because you won the World Championship at the end of last year. Bobby Game, at the age of? 42. You're 42 now. Do you, 42 win you were 41 when you won it, were you? I was, yes. Great win at the end of the season. I was delighted for you. You've, you've caught a little bit short in the British Championship the last couple of seasons. You finished second. Still great results, of course. I know you're looking to go one better this year. You know you've made it, of course, when you've got your own background for the interview. And what are you hoping for this season? How's it gone so far yesterday? And uh, what are you hoping for? Um, pretty much do the same again, really. I mean, if, you know, if, if we can stay up the front, then that's what we want to be doing. Um, we are still enjoying it. You know, um, obviously, there's a few less people in it at the moment, which hopefully that, that will get better. Um, we haven't had a great weekend so far this weekend. A um, few issues that we've been trying to sort of get around or, or solve. Uh, but we think we're getting there now for the finals, so we shall see in the first one. And it's interesting, there's a few young kids who I think are, are, are either the same age or younger than your daughter. One of them I spoke to yesterday, I said, what are you doing KGP this year? He said, well, there is a world champion in it. It's always good to beat a world champion. So great to know that the young kids have come in here to beat you. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think last year was a good thing for the class. It was, um, I think, last year, seven or eight British champions that were racing in, in some form. And, um, and I think it showed that in the racing was good, um, which is why people are doing it again this year. So, no, we'll, we'll see how it goes. OK, well, good luck for this year. Thank you very much. So, without further ado, let's rock and roll for 2014. The front of the grid, it's Oliver Hodgson and Mark Litchfield. Bobby Game and Daniel Baber on row two, that should be electric. Davies and Letts on row three from Flynn and Stocks, with Sam Harmon and Aaron Dew filling up row five. And away we go, straight away into the first corner, into Cafe Corner. Very close indeed from the top three as everybody filters through into position. But Hodgson has the jump on Bobby Game with Mark Litchfield in third position. And already he's protecting that inside line, Alan. Yeah, two world champions in this. We've uh, mentioned Bobby Game already, but the leader here, the 17 cart, is uh, the Rotax Max world champion from last season. And uh, arguably, Oliver Hodgson won the most difficult world championship to win because it features more drivers in a class than anything else in karting throughout the world. Well, interesting start from Matt Davies. He's rocketed up to fourth place ahead of Jamie Flynn with Daniel Baybutt dropping back into sixth position on the first lap. So there's plenty of movement from those three and that could be a bit of a challenge for these three at the front of the field as well. Hodgson just defending his line at the moment. Great shots from the helicam as it looks like Litchfield is going to make his move on Bobby Game. No, Bobby defends very well into the hairpin there. And on, on the way they go down the runway towards the Bruno Ferrari chicane. And it looks like Hodgson has actually managed to get a bit of a leap from the couple of drivers behind him. And it looks as though 28 Matt Davies is getting an opportunity to go for a podium here as well. Yeah, three or four cart lengths for the leader as Mark Litchfield goes up the inside of game. So uh, Litchfield, the six-time British champion, through to second place. But uh, Hodgson has been pretty comfortable today so far. Won the earlier final quite comfortably. And he look, he look, he's looking good here as well. So Litchfield there, six-time British champion in second. See uh, Matt Davis last year's junior TKM champion there in fourth place. He's close enough if good enough, and we know that he is. Back on board with a helicam. Bobby looks up the inside of Mark Litchfield, but nothing doing at this stage. Well, Flynn is there in fifth position. It looks like Dan Stocks has come up into sixth position and ahead of Daniel Baber. So Baber is looting, losing places, hands over fist here. But let's take a look at Oliver Hodgson. 17 number is the cart. Rotax Max, world champion, really strong driver. And already he's making a break from two of the stars of karting. Let's not forget that. There's 52 there. Matthew Gilliland makes a move. And it's... Uh, already starting to be a very active uh, race in this uh, first opener of the 2014 campaign. Some great movement through the field as Gilliland uh, makes up another place or two. And here is the battle. This is where Bobby Game is now trying to defend from Matt Davies. Gilliland, another sweet move up the inside of Jack New there in the 61, but New gets him back on the undercut. Great jostling in the mid pack. You see Daniel Babe up there, it's easy to pick out Daniel, he's in the red suit, he's the only one in the red suit, always nice for the commentators. See Oliver Hodgson there, he's got a, a comfortable lead over his now teammate, uh, you may remember last year, Jake Paul Fletcher from PF International, as we see uh, Daniel Babe up the inside for a spot, he makes a nice clean move there. Paul Fletcher was here at uh, Shennington last year looking to pick up a driver for his team, 
to race in Europe, to do the European and World Championships in the KF classes. And uh, he, in the end, I think it came down to uh, a choice between Sean Babington, who won the Rotax series last year, and uh, Oliver here. And uh, it was Oliver that uh, Paul selected. And, uh, of course, he's getting full support from Paul Fletcher. That is one of the few, very few works drives effectively in karting where Paul will pay him to drive throughout the world and he's also doing a few of the uh, KGP rounds this year I think one of the reasons I didn't have him as one to watch I don't think he's going to do every single round some of them may clash with the KF series but uh, he's doing this one and he's comfortably out front so far and talk about an inspired decision Oliver Hodgson is streaking away out in front look at that nine tenths of a second which in karting terms is practically a country mile at this stage in a final absolutely brilliant Brilliant. Hodgson streaking away from, of all people, Mark Litchfield. Let's not forget that. This is a guy who's a lot younger than Litchfield, but he's yep. certainly got the stature to go head to head with one of the kings of karting. Absolutely brilliant performance from Hodgson so far. And Litchfield is just controlling the pace ahead of Bobby Game. He's not got to work too hard to stay in front of him at this point. He's got the upper hand here. Yeah, Mark Litchfield, of course, uh, has been the top dog in this team for a long time. Well, he's been the only dog, effectively, in this team for a, uh, a long time. But uh, Oliver Hodgson is the new boy on the block and uh, showing Mark a clean pair of heels at the moment as they go up to the Stratford hairpin. Fantastic shots from the helicam. Got a, a move up the inside. That's for a spot later in the race. It's still Litchfield from game. This is uh, second and third, but... Uh, oh, here comes it, game, game on the inside. Is he going to get him? Yes! Beautiful move. Absolutely perfect. Textbook performance there. Hodgson still comfortably out front. He goes across the uh, start-finish line one more time into uh, the left-hander left at turn one. Here come the rest. Well, look at how much of a gap they pulled out over Matt Davies in the 28 who's just about uh, holding on to fourth position himself. But here comes Litchfield again. He doesn't like Bobby Game snatching second place off him. Hodgson is a few seconds up the road now. I make that one, two, two and a half seconds of a lead Hodgson has over Bobby Game at the moment. And Litchfield is not going to want to allow Bobby Game to be the meat in a PFI team sandwich. He's going to want to take this back again. And here comes Litchfield. Can he make the move on Game? No, Game is holding fast. Will kick through Wilkins one more time, left-handed now, across the start-finish line. Hodgson puts in the fastest lap at 41-4-2. That's uh, comfortably quicker than the guys behind. And he's got a real comfortable gap here. Here come the rest. And it's a very big gap back to sixth position. That's the 52 now. So Matthew Gilliland has really been working his way through the field. He's got himself uh, up into, uh, very comfortably up into the top half of the field. But look at the gap back to the fourth place behind Litchfield. And Hodgson has pulled out a three and a half nearly second gap to uh, Bobby Game in the number two. But this is a battle royale in British karting, isn't it? Bobby Game versus Mark Litchfield. And up the inside, Litchfield repeats the move that Game put on him a couple of laps ago. This is the equivalent of Senna versus Prost in British karting, isn't it? It's a brilliant rivalry as we head into the final lap. Yeah, they'll be loving this, Mark and Bobby. And uh, very clean racing between as they come through. Uh, here's the left-hander at uh, up Stratford. That's the leader. Now, can will Bobby get a chance? I don't think Mark's going to give him a chance down the of inside. He's not. No, he's not going to give him any space at all. Out of the hairpin, and here comes game again. Litchfield knows where he is. He knows him of old. He's going to make the move in the Bruno Ferrari chicane to defend his position. And Bobby game, he knows Mark Litchfield that Bobby is going to try into the Wilkins hairpin, but he defends valiantly. Is Bobby going to get an opportunity on the inside? No, Litchfield holds it, but he's going to slide. It sure is going to be close, but Hodgson seals the win. Disappointment for him afterwards, though. And Technical infringement keeps that win from him, but a brilliant dice, and that means, of course, it's Litchfield who pips game to the finish line. What a brilliant battle, and what a way to start 2014. Fantastic. I think we uh, we kind of knew that we were going to be third anyway because uh, we've not had a great weekend on engine side of things, so um, at the start of things, we were probably about nine cents off. So to come back and actually be up the front and still finish third and battling with Mark, I think he was still going to get me either way, um, just because he was a bit quick, quicker off the corners, really. So I was kind of a bit of a sitting duck, but tried our best. To be honest, we've been nursing a little bit of a problem, which we don't know what it is. Uh, it's not quite been as straightforward a weekend as we thought it would be, but to get two second places on a not a great weekend, you can't, be, can't really do any better than that, so it's fine. Luckily in that race for me, I think there was a little scrap behind me. It just gave me a break and allowed me to be comfortable and be in my rhythm, which was really nice. Just got into a rhythm and it's perfect then because you get out front and you, you, 
And if, you, if you're not passing and you're in your rhythm, you don't take so much out of your tyres. The guys behind passing each other would have put more heat into the tyres, got a bit more dirt on their tyres and it becomes harder. And for me, I was lucky enough to be in the position where I could get into a rhythm and keep pushing. It's really worked for me. So a disaster then for Oliver Hodgson. Port Heights on the engine, the technical problem, and it's excluded him from the meeting. And look at what it's done in the championship. Litchfield has a 10-point advantage over Bobby Game. Nine more on Matt Davies and a couple more ahead of Baybert and Letts with Jamie Flynn very much in the fight.